Google is hosting their second Project ARA developer conference. One in Silicon Valley, one in Singapore. We're gonna drop by at both and give you guys an update. First up, San Francisco. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Hey, Phone Blocks. Welcome to the Project Ara Developers Conference. We are here in Mountain View at the Googleplex. Um, I'm Paul Armenko. I am the head of Project Ara for Google. In the Spiral 2 prototype, we have new custom integrated circuits uh, for the on device network. We have 3G functionality. We've moved the electro permanent magnets into the endoskeleton. Uh, and out of the modules of the device. Um, and we'll also talk a little bit about what's coming next in Spiral 3, as well as in the market pilot, which we'll be doing in Puerto Rico. So developers really are what makes uh, Project Ara tick. Google itself, uh, the Google ATAP team, is developing the endoskeleton frame, which is what's at the core of, of the device, but doesn't in and of itself provide any user-facing functionality. So everything in the device comes from modules that will be created by third-party developers. And that's why these kinds of developer events are super, super important to the ultimate success of the Ara platform. I'm Joseph Kim, Heart uh, KPR Ultrasound, and I developed a glucose medical module. And then I can simply take out the lancet from the cover and sting it. And then I can put a, you know, my blood on top so I can check my glucose meter. My name is Lance Reichert. I work in Sennheiser's Research and Innovation Office in San Francisco. And we're working on a hi fi audio module for Project R. Uh, I have a very powerful headphone amp, a uh, very pristine audio input, and it'll provide the Sennheiser quality audio that users come to expect. I'm Fred Ferenc, uh, I'm representing Innerlux. We uh, make the uh, display module. This is a nice 4.5 inch HD. So we are Restigen, and we started to produce a module because we wanted to help people with kidney problems. One module is for blood and one is for water. So, I had an interesting day in San Francisco and now on my way to Singapore to see what the developers are making there. Hi, my name is Shardul Kazi. I'm a senior vice president of Toshiba America. And uh, we have a wide range of uh, image sensors. So we are making uh, uh, three different camera module reference designs for Aura. The first one is a two megapixel uh, camera module, which we are making as a receiver bar on top of the phone. The next one is a five megapixel uh, camera module. Similarly, I also have a third one, which is our 13 megapixel camera module and that also uses our camera image sensor plus our bridge chip. Hello, um, this is Nasa and then my name is Yasu. Um, we are members from Cabo Crew from Tokyo. We are a 3D printer service provider and we hope to provide mass customized 3D printing service to Project Ara. So in order to customize the shells, um, users can upload images to our service so that they can have their own image on the shells. And we also have like uh, mapping, mapping tools so that users can, for example, have a map Fuji on uh, module shells. I'm David Fishman, the Chief of Staff for Project Ara. We're here concluding our second Project Ara Module Developers Conference. I think it was a really great event. And first and foremost, I think we want to thank you, the module developers and the developer community, for participating in the event, for those that joined us in person and online. And thank you for your participation and questions. We were very excited to show you the Spiral 2 prototype that corresponds to the MDK release version 0.2. And we can't wait to continue working on the platform on Spiral 3 and to release new versions of the MDK over the next couple months as we move forward towards the market pilot. Thank you again and look forward to seeing you at DevCon 3. Oh, come on.